Kia ora koutou. welcome to Whitewood Friday. This week we're looking at what's Peter done. <laughs> Yes. Uh, this week, Peter Dunn released the United Future Environmental Policy. Fantastic. Good to see. Well done, Peter. No one seemed to notice. That's the only downside. But we noticed, Peter. We noticed. So that's what we're going to talk about today. You may not know this, but the purple colour symbolising United Future comes from the meshing of the blue of national with the red of labour. But it actually starts to look like Peter's trying to get on a blue-green tinge with some of these policies. Exciting stuff. Let's go through them one by one. There's six policies. First up, conservation levy. It's not an original idea, but it's a good one. Taxing tourists to invest in the conservation estate. That is, after all, what most of them come here for. So, although the the Greens thought of it first and we actually thought of it before them. It's still a good policy, Peter. Nice work for picking that up. Second, a Centre for Environmental Excellence. Well, uh, why not spend more time and money investing in our understanding our native environment? That's a fantastic idea. We could even stick it in Mochiwaka. Nice work, Peter. We'll come back to three and four later on. Fifth is a comprehensive marine reserve network. This is great to see. We've been talking about it for some time. The government's looking at a marine reserve network now, but they've excluded... Oh, I've just dropped that. <laughs> they've excluded the exclusive economic zone. I'm so animated about that. It's such a terrible thing because that's actually the biggest part of our ocean. Hopefully, Peter will include that in his comprehensive marine reserve network. Nice job. Last up, a permanent native forest carbon sink. Now, we don't really know what Peter means by this policy because there's not a lot of detail on how he's going to deliver it, but the idea is sound. We've got a million hectares of erosion-prone land up there in the hills. It's bad because we're losing the soil. We're, that soil ends up in our rivers, and we could plant it with trees which will soak up carbon from the atmosphere, help us achieve our emissions goals. So, big tick there, Peter, if you can actually tell us how you're going to do it. Lastly, let's look at the, the ones we had some question over. Number three, an electric vehicle grant. Well, it sounds like a good idea, and it's certainly more effective than the government policy of uh, excluding cars from paying road user charges. But is it really that great? Well, do we really want more cars on the roads? That's the question we face. If you're going to subsidise electric vehicles, it doesn't mean that the other types of uh, the, uh, cars are going to be bought any less. So we might end up with more cars overall. The really successful policies overseas in this area have taxed gas-guzzling cars and given that money to the drivers of electric vehicles. So there's a number of ways that you could do that. You could lift the petrol levy. You could just tax the cars when they enter the country and use that for the, for the grant for electric vehicles. Or you could just put up the price of carbon. We already know that it's too low. It should be much higher than it is now. So a kind of a qualified agreement with, uh, with uh, Peter Dunn there. The last one, the Household Micro Generation Grant. This is the only one we give a big fat red cross to because effectively what he wants to do here is subsidise solar energy. Now, solar is great. If it works for you, install it. That's absolutely fantastic. You know, it's up to the individual to decide that. But is it really for New Zealand Inc. to subsidise that? It's not really going to help us in the long term because solar energy produces most of its uh, electricity in the middle of summer during the middle of the day. Now when New Zealand needs extra electricity is actually 6pm in the middle of winter when everyone gets home and puts the heat pump on and tries to boil the spuds. Solar is not going to help us then. So it's not really helping New Zealand Inc. If it's a good idea for you, that's totally cool. But I don't think that the government should be subsidising it. So overall, Peter done good. Thanks for watching that right till the end. If you'd like to stay in touch with what we do here at the Morgan Foundation, click here or visit us at morganfoundation.org.nz. Ideas to action.